Okay, this is probably something that we're not going to worry about too much yet. Um, I'm in paper space, so I actually need to open up the real file because we're in that plotting file. But just to show you how text editing really kind of works, um, I've got that's the code notes. We're looking for the structural note sheet. And I don't even see it here. Put it in here. No, I wouldn't put it in there. Back up. Brain plans. Code notes. Garage. Code notes. But this has this special thing. This is different. I can see at the bottom of the preview. It's not the right one. So I'm wondering if I actually have this directly in here as real text. Looks like an XREF. Um, let's go see what it is. So if I look over here, it is called S1 Rob GSN. Oh, so this is referencing all the way out to an old project. So we don't want it to do that. So I need to make a copy of Rob, rename it, and then point the file to the new file so that it still comes in. Um, some of the issues with that are you can point it to it, but to my knowledge, I cannot change this name. Um, yeah, I can find a new path. I can do all kinds of stuff, but I can't change the name. So uh, find and replace. Well, let's move the file first and then let's see if we can use a find and replace. I don't know about that. So I am going to open up a browser. I'm going to go to my projects. I'm going to go down to my old file for Robitaille. Here he is. And in CAD, I have his CDs for Art Robitaille. And then I go in there, and in here is going to be the first S sheet which is called Rob something, I believe. One, Rob. Okay, so I need this drawing. So I'm gonna make a copy of it. Copy it. Now I'm gonna go to our current job, which is Bell. And I'm going to go into ACAD, Bell CDs. And I'm going to paste it. Maybe, oh, there's paste. Still not used to this Windows 11. All right, um, so now slow clicks will allow me to change this. And I am going to rename it because I think there's probably a lot in here that has nothing to do with this little tiny garage project. So I'm going to call it Bell GSN, which is general structural notes, different than the general notes that we had up in our code notes. So those are more architectural and anything to do with architectural stuff like egress and uh, fire and safety issues where this is about the structure and how it's built and that sort of thing. So now that I have this renamed, we can pop it open. And all I was going to show you real quick, I'll just double click on it here. Here it is, open. Um, let's open the external references because there shouldn't be any. Oh, yes, it does have. So the concrete... Um, there's a concrete and a notching and drilling lumber. Um, this is really simple with just trusses. So notching and drilling number, lumber is not a huge deal, but I am going to bring them in and put them in the table, and then we'll repoint to them. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to go into my schedules of legends, and I need none of this. <laughs> I don't know what I need. So let's see where I might have put it in here. Um, images is probably where it's at, uh, but it's not, oh, I'm in Bell, that's my problem. I gotta go back to Robitaille, because that's where it's referencing to, it's trying to find those. And so in the Robitaille, I have CAD, not ACAD, this was named by another employee, so um, at any rate, we try and be consistent, so ACAD is where it will be for AutoCAD. Because CAD refers to any kind of CAD, which Chief is CAD, so that doesn't help us define anything. Details, 
let's look and see, because this is before I started, there's the concrete table. This is before I started putting this in such a much better way of organizing this stuff into a separate folder. So in this new job, we have got images, which is what these really are. They're schedules, legends, not really. They're more like images. So I'm going to paste into here. And there we have them. So these are our notching drilling tables. So now within the drawing itself, they're not showing up because they don't know where they're at. They're looking back at that old direction. And so we need to come in here and I need to select a new path. And that new path, open up on my other monitor, um, will be, in, and I'll show you something cool too. Um, so we're working a lot in this Bell project, right? So I double click here, I want to go into ACAD, and I, ooh, I can't rename it now, I'm so far along, this should say Bell ACAD, and I'll tell you why later, because you can see Madrazo CDs, and on and on, with their name, so I can spot it right off the bat. Here I'm going to have to remember that the one that says ACAD is Bell. Oh, I did do it, Bell CDs, okay. So now that I'm in the Bell CDs folder is in the look in portion. Come over here to tools and add the current places and look it's here. So now that I'm going back and forth, I'll put it down in the order of well, put it right under projects. Now I can go there real quick anytime and you can get them out of here. So um, I switch back and forth between what I need. These are the blocks. These are all different stuff that we already have pre-drawn for projects. I keep some shortcuts in here. These are all our projects. So um, this is right back to Bell. And I was going to select the image file. So I have the images. I was looking for notching, I believe. <laughs> now that I've gone all over the place, I hope I got that right. And I'm going to open. Do you really like to apply the same path to the other missing reference? Yeah, sure. Let's pick it all at once. Boom, both are in. And so that fixed that, and we're off and running. Now you can see I can actually highlight the text for these individual. And these are kind of, AutoCAD is not Microsoft Word. Its text editor is a little limited, but you can double click in it, it goes into this, you get some features up top here. Um, sometimes it'll zoom in really close, you can't find your way around, you gotta zoom back out. Um, fire blocking is necessary because we've got stuff that's above 10 feet. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to read these, I'm going to eliminate probably most of it. If it looks like it's, it's, it'll be okay just to sit there, maybe I'll just leave it alone. Um, unless I need space for something else. So just want to show you, that's the text editor. We now have this sheet in here. It is called S1 Bell GSN. So if I go to my bell plotting, guess what? I now have an S1 bell GSN. And now I'd probably have to fix the template because there's a ghost over here. That shows up all the time. Just delete it. Now, since this is a new sheet, we need to come and find another sheet with a title block already on it. This is the title block here. Notice it doesn't highlight a few things because these are editable. The rest of the stuff is the same on every page. And once you start drawing your own stuff, your name will appear under Drawn. So um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to do a Control-Shift-C because I want to take it from one drawing to another drawing. Otherwise, I could just hit C for copy. Then it's asking for an origin. If I hit 0 and then I hit comma and I hit 0, going to pick that bottom left corner where that little blue square is at right now. I'm going to hit enter. So it shows it. You can't see anything happen. But what you will notice when we go over here, I'm going to hit control V for paste. And now again, it's asking me, oops, I'm off. It's asking me for coordinates, zero, comma, zero. And you can hit zero, tab zero, does the same thing. And it didn't show up. So I'm going to zoom, extents. Oh, it's over here. Somehow this origin is not in the right place. So if I were to draw a line, and sometimes I'll check this. 
rum zero comma zero enter no origins over there so i don't really know it might have been the drawing it came from maybe the origin was off there somehow the origin is off um well, which sheet did I take it from? Did I take it from here? So L from zero com comma zero enter. Uh, L which is line from which is space zero comma zero and then space. That's in the right place. That's coming from the origin. I wonder if I just screwed up when I entered that because. Usually these are right on. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go back there. I'm going to delete that. It's just one image. Delete it. And, ooh, look at that. Undo. When you select it, see this little guy? That. Specify stretch point or 0, 0. And I can bring it, move it. Um, to get it exact is a bit of a trick, except for I have these layout lines. That's what these red lines are called. They don't plot. They don't do anything, but they will allow me to find zero, zero. And boom, that's fixed. So that was another solution. So that's done. It is S1. And if I wanted to, I could plot. And just go to previous plot, as we did before. Next video.